prosper. You shall succeed. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall run and never be weary. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. In the same yesterday. In the same today. In the same forever. Can you give the Lord a shout? I'm Seafood Production. Yes, man. You are direct. The one you did, we did it in 2015. Yes, man. Ah! And then the movie is called New. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir. Oh, when the oil is upon your life, anything you touch has work. When the oil comes upon a man, demons cannot stay in your house. When the oil comes upon a man, poverty cannot stay in your heart. Isaiah chapter 20, verse 27. By the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. By the anointing, every yoke shall be destroyed. When the oil comes upon a man, what people do, it doesn't work. He will do the same thing. It shall begin to work for you because you are not dead. You are an anointed man. Sweet Spirit of God Feel at home in me Oh, you firm that I love you And I will love you forever God here. Prayer palace, we are blessed. I feel God here. I feel God here. Thank you. I, I just anointed in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Precious one, my name is Prophet Emmanuel J. I I want to welcome you to our program, Restored. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our program, Restored, is a church without walls, where we reach homes, we reach people outside Ghana and many, many continents. And I'm excited that today you've tuned in again. Listen to me today, God has placed a word in my heart I want to share with you. If you read first Samuel chapter 30, Bible says, one day David and his men went on battle. So when he went, uh, the Amalekite invaded Zaglak. And the Bible says, they took their wives, they took their generals, they took everything takeable. And then the Bible says, when he came back, the land was desolate. He cried. The people cried and they said, David, uh, it's your fault. Go and recover our wives. And then our husbands and whatever that belongs to us. And the Bible says David was also distressed. The people were also distressed. But he remembered that they did not take Abiata, the high priest. So the verse 7, the Bible says, first Samuel chapter 30, verse 7. The Bible says, he said, Go call me Abiata. When Abiata comes, I know the problem will be solved. Lo and behold, 
when Abieta was called, he came with the effort. And the Bible says categorically that he wore the effort, went into the presence of God, and then called on God. He asked God a simple question. God, should I go run after the troop? And God says, don't just run after the troop. Overtake them and recover all. Fast forward, he recovered everything that they took in the land of Ziglag. What am I trying to say? God says, I should tell you, as you watch restored, whatever that has been taken from you, whatever the enemy has taken from you shall be restored. I tell you, shout a big amen as you watch me right now. It shall be restored. Your marriage shall be restored. Your prosperity shall be restored. Your increase shall be restored. Your business shall be restored. The devil is giving some people restless night. I came to tell you, after tonight, you shall sleep like a baby. I speak as a prophet of God. Whatever that has been harassing you is coming to an end. In Jesus' mighty name. Now the question is, how do I get restored? David did not just get the restoration just by getting the restoration. There were a few things he did. Today, I'm going to share with you about Abiata. Watch me carefully. They took able men away. They took everything takeable, but Abiata was still there. Don't forget, Abiata was a prophet. Abiata was a high priest. So he said, if my high priest is still there, then I have a second chance. Precious one. God will not do anything unless he revealed to his prophet. Amos chapter 3 verse 7, the Bible says, I will do nothing unless I reveal to my servant the prophet. Anytime you have a good prophet in your life, God begins to use him as a catalyst of restoration. The reason you are going through what you're going through is because you are fighting the battle alone. The reason you're going through what you are going through because you have people in your life, you think they are men of God, but truly they are not men of God. If you have a true man of God in your life, it doesn't matter where you fall in. It doesn't matter what has gone wrong in your life. God shall restore. When Abiata was there, there was restoration. Look at Naaman, 2 Kings chapter 5. Bible says Naaman was a leper. He was an army general, but a leper. Once upon a time, his servant told him, there is still a prophet in my country. If only you can meet with this prophet, your calamity shall be rolled away. And the Bible said categorically, he traveled to Israel and met with Elisha, reading from verse 1 going, Elisha threw the direction he gave him, the guy got a restoration from his leprosy. The Bible says in the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, there was a famine in the land, the water was bad, everything was going wayward. And the Bible said they went to consult Elisha. The verse 20, the Bible says, get me a bowl. They got him a bowl, he put salt in the bowl, he said go throw it in the water. Bible says instantly there was life in the water. What am I trying to say? If you meet a prophet, your life will definitely not be the same. Many have encountered our ministry and their lives have changed. Today, I want to take you to our service. You see what God did in many lives through the servant of God. And I will come back and pray with you. My name still remains Prophet Emmanuel J. I'm the senior pastor of Prayer Palace, Spring Test Road. Stay tuned. I'll come back and pray with you. I'm giving a last chance. If I tell you to come, she should come ten times. Are you understanding me? It's good. That girl was supposed to be dead by now. Because I saw an arrow was thrown against her. But there was an angel around Dundua Lane that saved her. Do you know anything about that? She attends church around Dodua. Good. Hold on. Don't clap it. Because I saw an arrow thrown, but there was an interception around Dodua Road. Specifically in a place called Fafraha. That's right. Good. The, the, the area is called Mal 13. Precisely. Can I prophesy now? Professor. Good. That is the area that God saved her. I said she's called Afrakuma. But the church she go, they don't call her Afrakuma, they call her Abigail. Exactly. <laughs> Professor, put your hands together. I, I told you to have a problem in the house. I will proceed and shock you. There is something common about you and that girl. Very common. Very common about you. 
There's number three that is common about you and her. Three. Three. I'm seeing you holding and the number three. She's hold, also holding the number three. Are you aware? I'm not too clear. Exactly. That's the reason I'm a prophet. <laughs> now let me explain to you. The difference between don't give me the month, don't give me anything. The difference between your month, your birth month and her birth month, how many, how many months? <laughs> how many months? Three months. <laughs> Hold on. You know. Hold on. The difference between your day of birth and her day of birth. How many months? How many days? Three days. prophecy spiritually both of you are supposed to enter into Canada the same day so tell her okay has she applied for Canadian visa she has applied for Canadian Did visa you refuse her? we are actually waiting for the you outcome. are waiting for it to come out yes please if I don't pray they will refuse her mm. because I'm seeing the Canadian documents I am at the Canadian High Commission now I can even give her a docket number. Mm. I can even give her the person handling the case. Oh, you are there. Papa, you are there. Professor. 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 Bring her tomorrow. Okay. Huh? And tell her, her case has been refused. But we can turn it. Amen. Amen. So don't worry. No appeal. No appeal. I'll turn it if she comes. Because there's an arrow following her. The reason why she is covered is because of the church she is. The pastor is a good pastor. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Tell her. You want to go tell her that she should never leave Holiness Temple. <laughs> That's the name of the church. Before we pray, I told her, yes, where's the, the lady? Come. Do you know me? Run, 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 run. I told her to bring her documents. Did you bring them? I prophesied to your fiance, and I said you have a case in Canada, right? Canadian Embassy. Canadian Embassy. I want you to know that there's a prophet in the house. There's a prophet in the house. Yes, I believe that some people are doing some illicit stuff, mm. but they are still genuine prophets. Yes. Are you understanding me? Mm. Good. Mama. Which document are you holding? Microphone, quick. Um, it's the application for my... Application form. So you have application for your visa to Canada. Did I say that? Yes, please. Good. Which document again are there? Um, a receipt from the um, Canadian High Commission. A receipt from the Canadian High Commission. How many of you remember I said I, I even know the case? Yeah, that is. Okay. Now, pull those two documents. Let me show you something. Let me read what you have. Sir, I told you to bring your passport, right? Listen, your passport is about to expire. Do a new one. Is it true? You are actually going to do a new one. <laughs> because as soon as she was opening the document, God says, his passport is about to expire. Listen. Wow. Can I shock you? This is not your passport, it's your second passport. passport. My second passport. You entered into the Canadian High Commission in the morning. Good. But your application was received exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, please. 45 minutes. <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> Come on. 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 Come on.
Can I continue? Yes, please. I said you and your guy will go at the same time. So don't delay her. Go and do that passport. Good. I'm going to, because I'm going to reverse the case. I told you you have been refused. I told you, right? But I have the case. I can reverse it for oh, you. Oh, you, you can, Papa. You have done it before. Hear me. For you to know that what I'm saying is true. Do you know the, your case number? You don't know. It's supposed to be there. Check. You'll find it. Do you see it? Yes, please. Are you sure? Count how many letters and figures there. Take your time and count. How many? Um, 12 numbers and 4 letters. So how many in all? 12 and 4. So 16. I'm going to mention all the 16 to you. What I'm seeing is what I've seen that I'm, proof, I'm saying. I'm, I'm seeing the case. I'm saying it. All right? Yes. The name on the case is Abigail. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Afrakuma. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Sorry, William, I bought it uh -huh. So this is just a recap. <laughs> now, the case number starts with 2 0. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> 2018. Mm -hmm. yes. 05. 04. GHA. Hey. <laughs> I am Hold on. Let me start again. 208. 05. 04. GHA. C. STU. 405 Yes, please. It's is it true. there? Yes, please. Did I miss any word? No, please. Are you sure? Yes, please. That's the case number. Yes, please. Yesterday, I asked your guy, the day you went to the M, to the High Commission, he said he did not know. He said he remembers me. But I'm telling you, it's on the 4th of May. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. It's true. Stretch out towards them. There's a prophet in there. We are going to pray mm. that this case that spiritually had been refused should be turned around. Amen. Welcome back, precious one. I know you are super excited with what you watch. This is just a few of what God does. In prayer palace those of us who have been sending us messages from gambia from sierra leone from nigeria from america from asia even people send us messages from the prisons listen to me carefully we don't take it for granted those in sierra leone gambia nigeria very soon the prophetic train will be there i know you are excited don't worry stay put i'll bring out the date very very soon there's a powerful program coming on tomorrow as you're watching me tomorrow wednesday it's going to be a powerful program. And listen to me carefully. In the morning, from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock, God has laid on my heart that everybody that will come tomorrow should come with his passport. I mean your passport. Your passport. Come with your passport. There is something I'm going to do. I will take your passport, add my passport to your passport, and pray that the grace on my life will come on your passport. Why? Acts chapter 3. Verse 1, Bible says, when Peter and John went to the temple, the Bible says, there was a guy who was at the beautiful gate. Though he was close to the beautiful gate, but there was nothing beautiful in his life. He asked for arms from the prophet. And he said, what we have is what we give. By the grace of God, I've traveled close to 40 countries, preaching the gospel, healing the sick, ministering to people. So I carry the grace to break borders. I want to impact that grace on your life. 
you're watching me right now, you're believing God to travel. You, you've been refused visas over and over and over. It is not too late. Don't cry. God has remembered you. Tomorrow, I want you to make your way to the prayer palace on the Spinter's Road. As I pray for you, God will do mighty works. They shall restore your visa back to you. That's the first thing. You want to travel out? You're having issues with the visa. You need favor before the consulate. And God will grant you favor. Number two, you already travel, but you need access in life. Listen, a visa represents access in life. If you want to go to America, okay, and you don't have the visa to America, you have no access into that country. In the same way, if you have money in your account and you have the visa card, it can access the money in the account. So as you bring your passport, I'm praying for you, believing God that God will give you access to life, access to wealth, access to prosperity, access to increase. You need a man, you need an abiata to push you. Remember, David could not recover until abiata came. If your abiata is there, then you shall recover. I want to be your abiata tomorrow where I shall usher you into greatness. So tomorrow, come with your passport. Now, somebody asked me a simple question. I don't even have a passport. Don't worry. Go take a passport picture, okay? Take a passport picture. Bring me only one of the passport picture. I'm going to touch it with my passport, and I'll ask you to go do passport, and I'm giving you maximum 100 days. God shall perform a miracle. Once upon a time, a man came to us, and he was going to take a visa. He has been refused for the past five years. I told him, go. God will grant you grace. I touched his passport with my passport. He went, and by the grace of God, he had five years visa. God is still in the miracle business. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Prayer Palace is on the Spinter's Road. Prayer Palace is on the Spinter's Road. If you hit the Spinter's Road, Acts of Herbalife, Acts of Herbalife, and the right adjacent Herbalife is Prayer Palace. Come early to have a place in the hall. Number two, our Easter convention also starts this particular Wednesday. Tomorrow, our Easter convention starts Precious one, God is about to do something miraculous. From Wednesday to Sunday, we are having a time with the Holy Spirit. We're talking about the benefit of the shed blood. And after I'm going to administer communion to you, and I'll pray for the sick. If you know anyone who is sick, bring the person to the prayer palace. Each evening at 6 p.m. So we come for the morning service, and in the evening we come back for the Easter convention. I want to see you at a prayer palace. Don't also forget our biggest program of all time, night. Of restoration listen to me at night of restoration great things happen at night of restoration heaven kisses the earth on the 10th of may that is our night of restoration it's our mega all night mega all night wherever you are people come in from nigeria people come in from cote d'ivoire people come in from 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 togo listen to me wherever you are hearing us from you are in gabon you are in gambia you are in sierra leone you can fly in on that day Listen, if you want accommodation, just call the number on the screen. We shall arrange an accommodation for you. So, hey, join us at the night of restoration on the 3rd of May. It's an all-night service. We start at 9 p.m. and close at 6 o'clock in the morning. It is 100% word, 100% prophecy, 100% uh, worship, 100% prayer. Something will happen. Finally, today, I want to take time and pray for 332 people. 332. 132 people. When I was praying last night, I just saw 332 in my prayer. And God told me, pray for 332 people who will call in. And those 332 people, I will personally prophesy, speak into your life, speak into your marriage, tell you why you are going through what you are going through, what happened, and the solution. And I promise you, God will smile on you. Before I sign off, two things I want to do. One, follow me on Instagram. Prophet Emmanuel J or Prayer Palace. Or follow me on Facebook, Prophet Emmanuel J. Be my friend, like my page, and follow us for our daily update. Now, if you're watching me, you don't know Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this broadcast cannot end until I give the opportunity to give your life to Christ. What you saw God do is because there's a God somewhere. And if there's a God somewhere, look for that God. Jesus might come tomorrow or even now. Are you ready? If you know you will not go to heaven, I want to give you the opportunity. Just say this short prayer right after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept the fact that I am not born again. Come, wash me. Make me holy and make me pure. Let your blood that flowed on Calvary wash my sins away. 
in Jesus name amen dear one you are born again if you are not in Accra look for a Bible believing church and join but if you are in Accra visit us in any of our services Wednesday 9 to 1 p.m. on Saturday we have what we call war zone every Saturday war zone from 6 o'clock to 9 30 in the morning on Sunday we have two services in the morning is 8 to 11 and in the evening is prophetic power ministration from 6 p.m. to 9 30 and every Tuesday is my counseling day I want to sit down and I want to talk to you listen this Wednesday don't forget I'm doing the direction on the passport I want to see you right after this broadcast tomorrow and also I want to hear from you God bless you my name still remains Prophet Emmanuel J. Keep watching, send us your email, send us your messages, and we shall reply. God bless you.